Okay, so in this session, we want to find the sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample variance of the grouped data. Grouped data is very commonly seen. It shows the sample space of a random variable that is all possible unique outcomes. So in this example here, the random variable has um, numbers 1.6, 3.7, 6.2, 8.4, and no other numbers. And we collected measurements where we have observed that x shows up 1.68 times. It shows up as 3.7, 17 times, and 13 times, and 5 times, right? So we recorded all these, and now we like to analyze this set of table. Now, uh, of course, the list can go on. It doesn't have to be only four unique outcomes. It can be more, but just to uh, show you uh, as a form of illustration, we just uh, have a smaller set of data. Now, again, uh, to begin our statistical analysis with the TI-84 calculator, we always have to feed the data into our calculator. So we enter the unique outcomes of random variable x into one list. So all the outcomes in one list and then all the frequencies corresponding to the outcomes in the other list. So 1.6 in our table has a frequency of 8. We will enter 8 correspondingly. Do not jumble up, like do not enter 17 corresponding with 1.6 and so on. Uh, so each frequency is associated with its uh, own outcome, which is fair, right? I mean, that's understandable and logical. So once we have entered this set of uh, data, we can just ask calculator to perform one variable statistics. Now, the common mistake here is that we are not doing two variable statistics. Here, I only have one random variable, x, right? It's just described in a way where we have unique outcomes and then separately with the frequency. This is sort of like not trying to write down 1.6, 1.6, 8 times, followed by 3.7, 3.7, 17 times, and so on, right? So that would have been the raw data observation, but we summarize that into a table form like this. So essentially, there's only one variable to analyze. We click on enter, telling calculator that our unique values are in L1, and then our corresponding list of frequencies are found in L2. Okay, so this is where you use the frequency list specification. Then we ask calculator to calculate, and lo and behold, we have our results immediately. So the sample mean is going to be 4.6116. The sample standard deviation is our Sx. That's 2.1, 2.1339. And the sample variance is just Sx squared. So as before, we click on VARS and 5, the statistical set of variables, and select Sx. Then we square it to get the variance in its full precision. And then we can round this to whatever decimal places we like. Okay? And very quickly, we have already analyzed the table of observations without much issue.